So if you're an advanced custom fields or ACF pro user and you bought the lifetime deal a couple of years ago, you've probably received an email from Delicious Brains, the new owners of Advanced Custom Fields Pro. And I'm going to give you my opinion on this and why I think it's such a bad move. So originally yesterday, Holger over on the WP Tets Facebook group posted a little message saying, just got an email from Delicious Brains with the following information. So, hi, I know you're already a lifetime subscriber or license holder for ACF Pro, but I'm hoping you'll consider signing up for a discounted subscription to support our ongoing work in continuing to improve advanced custom fields. We've shipped two major releases, 5.1, 5.11, since we took over development of the plugin from Elliant in June. June. So, bearing in mind, we're talking about six months they've had this you know, ownership of advanced custom fields including the full featured REST API. If you're a fan of the work we've done so far, nothing will show our developers that you appreciate them more than signing up for an ACF Pro subscription, especially since you already have a lifetime license. Basically, what they're saying is, if you have a lifetime license, you should feel so grateful to the developers for doing the job that they should be doing after purchasing this product that you should forget all about your lifetime subscription that you paid for to support the plugin during its development prior to them buying it and pay again on top of your license fee, or on top of your, your sort of lifetime license fee. So not only will you be paying another fee on top of that, but you'll be paying an annual subscription. Let that sink in for a minute. You've paid for it once. They now want you to pay for it again and to continue paying for it just for actually doing what they should be doing, which is developing this in its entirety. That really, really sticks in my throat, really does. They bought Advanced Custom Fields Pro in the knowledge that there were lifetime license holders out there. Now, don't get me wrong. If you think that you are making good money and you feel the need to actually purchase additional licenses for ACF Pro because you want to support the developers, that's entirely up to you. No problem with that whatsoever. Showing your support in whatever method you want, there's nothing wrong. Developers do need to be paid. However, guilting existing LTD owners into making them feel that they should be honored that the work is being carried out on this plugin and they should pay that again, is frankly ridiculous. Now, this wouldn't be quite so bad if it wasn't for the fact that when Delicious Brains actually took over the ownership of Advanced Custom Fields Pro, there was also a bit of a problem there where they didn't say straight away whether they would or wouldn't actually honor the lifetime deals. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. This was the response to it. Now, I, I flagged this up when this first came to my attention in June. And a lot of people hopped on that tweet. It got a lot of shares and so on. And a lot of people were showing the fact that they were unhappy with this situation as well. So Brad, who is one of the guys behind Delicious Brains, came up with this 10-part tweet saying that basically all lifetime deals would be honored. We would never be asked to pay again for whatever version they released. So it wasn't a case of that we had the lifetime deal for version five up until five point whatever, and then when six came out, we'd have to pay again. No, he stated that we would never ever have to pay for ACF Pro again. Again, let that little sink in. So now we're not being asked or told we have to pay for ACF Pro. We're kind of being guilted into, well, Please show our developers a little bit of love because they're doing their job and you're not giving us any more money. Now, for me, I would much rather see if you want to make more money, you want to get those lifetime deal owners to put some extra cash into the coffers of Delicious Brains. Why not offer them a discount on your other products? Get them onto that subscription model with your other products. That way you create a sense of goodwill. You purchase this. And to show our appreciation for the fact that you have a lifetime deal, we'd like to give you an exclusive offer on our other product or products just because you're a lifetime deal holder. That way, you get access to more products, more tools you might want to use. You get a discount because you've already invested in the early adoption of ACF Pro. Everybody's a winner. 
This sticks in my throat. I don't like this. I don't like this guilting existing lifetime deal owners into handing over more cash. There's been lots of comments on Twitter about this. Lots of different people coming with different opinions. And one of the analogies that came up was if you bought a car and you paid for that, you wouldn't expect to have servicing and tires and oil changes and things for free. And you're absolutely right, you wouldn't. When you buy a car, if you paid for that outright or your finance had finished on it, you would still expect to pay for all of your servicing, all of those consumables. Unless when you bought that car, you bought it with lifetime maintenance and lifetime parts included. And then once you'd finished paying for that, and someone else had taken over the ownership of that garage, that company, that car manufacturer, and they said, ah, the thing is, see, even though you signed up to this, we think you should now start paying for your oil filters, your fuel filters. We should expect you to pay for your servicing, your tires, even though we actually gave you all of this, you paid for this as part of that early adoption, you have all these thrown in, but oh, come on, our mechanics are doing a really good job doing mechanic things. You should pay them again for that. And that's basically what that analogy kind of falls down, is if you'd bought that car, including all of that servicing, you wouldn't expect to pay for servicing. And ACF is no different to that. We paid for the lifetime deal, which included support, constant updates, forever. Not until another company took over and decided to change their mind or guilted you into paying again. But that's just my take on it. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. How do you feel about this? Are you a lifetime owner? Do you feel this is fair and just and you should jump on board and start paying again? Or do you think that your early adoption with the original developer of ACF was a contract? And this company that bought it out, bought out those contracts, including that lifetime deal. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, Take care.